Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Shalom, Yahushua's peculiar treasure, shalom. So everybody's being blessed, but as I tell you, every day is a blessing. Why, you see me and I see you, and that is a blessing. Elohim has blessed us with another day to work in a purpose and work out that assignment. And as I tell you, if you don't know what your purpose is, if you don't know what your assignment is, pray, read, study fast, get into that word, ask the Ruach HaKadosh to reveal to you what Elohim has for you. Because what he has for you is for you. Can no one give that to you, and can no one take that away from you. So nobody's being blessed, but as I tell you, we're always blessed. But let me hit you with this quick prayer, prayer real quick. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, are of the armies, creator of the heavens and the earth, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob, our Elohim, the Holy One of Yisrael, my Elohim and, and my Savior, for giving us the Ruach of, the, of strength. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High, Yah, our Father in heaven, in the name of the Son, Yahshua HaMashiach, in the Ruach HaKadosh. Hallelujah. So, you know, I'm here to give us our daily bread. And my word today, not my word, his word, the man upstairs word. We live by, live by faith and not by sight. But this word kind of gave me, <laughs> it was a good one. And I, I thought the, I thought it was funny when the Ruach HaKadosh gave it to me. But he gave me, when the wicked, when the wicked, say they are a child of Yah. <laughs> when they say they are a child of Yah. And this is the scripture that he gave me to start it off with. And it was Proverbs 29, 27. The righteous despise the unjust. The wicked despise the godly. In a way, they will despise us. They will say they're with us. But by their fruits, <laughs> it, it shows. So I what he gave me first, and it was this, it was a, that this one everybody should know, but this one right here will let you know what you're dealing with, is Ephesians 6, 12. For, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers, authorities of unseen worlds, against mighty powers in the dark world, and evil spirits. We know, as I said, we know we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities, evils, the wicked demons. We got nowadays. We got everybody want to be a tarot card reader. We got everybody want to be um, new age spiritual, and they're spiritually awoken and awakened, and you know, dibble dabbling or saying that they are of the new spiritual, the new age, the new age spirit or something, whatever that crap. It is nothing. No. None of it's all in the Bible. None of this is new under the sun. None of this, but it is not of the Most High. You do that, that that sorcery, that stuff, that is not the spirit of the Ruach Hakadosh. So that's what he gave me at the beginning of it. So then he dropped me. <laughs> he gave me Second Corinthians eleven fourteen through fifteen. But I am not surprised. Even even Hasatan disguised himself as an angel of light. <laughs> So it is no wonder that his servants also disguise themselves as servants of the righteousness. In the end, they will get the punishment their wicked deeds desire, deserve. Excuse me. That right there, if that don't shake it up, stir it, give it away, I don't know what. But that right there, that just shows you. And that's when it falls down to, um, it gave me, because I did this teaching with my rabbi, and it was the they're, car they're already cardinal minded. So their fruits is always based on cardinal mind stuff. Because children of the most high, y'all, we, we are some, our conversations are about spiritual. Spiritual, not just, oh, you're spiritually awakened and the, the crystals and the sun, I get my energy. No, we don't, we don't worship the creation. We worship the creator, the creator. And that is the difference, especially to this new, new age spiritual stuff and everything or you know people go back to that or the crystal worship and the tarot cards no no that is a cardinal mind person these are the people that say they are they're right we're, they're righteous they disguise their, themselves as servants of righteousness but they don't show that through their spiritual talk so go through romans uh 6 through 12 that whole not even six no go and read romans 8 6 through 14 
and it will give you the understanding of a, a person that is controlled by their sins and by their nature of what they do that shows you that they are not of the righteousness. Then um, being being a, being righteous and being a child of the Most High Yah, we are always working. We are always talking, working, thinking, plotting, and everything is for the kingdom kingdom work everything we were a lot we want everything that's done in heaven here on earth we are waiting for our most high yah to ascend to us and let us take over those that were last will be first and the first will be last for you <laughs> that is. so and then it just gave me just the knowing of the fruit the fruit that they produce it's always jealousy envy strife division malice these are like evidence of a cardinal mind person but say they are righteous these are things that we do not do or we do not care for we are we have the fruit of the ruach hakadash we produce love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control <laughs> and things like that and we walk with the the mashiach we have the spirit of the mashiach we have the spirit of the Ruha Hakadash. These are the fruits of it. Though that that is a child of Yah. And what gave me at the end of doing this reading and this study, it led me off with Matthew 13, 19. These seeds that fall on the footpath represents those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand it. Then the evil ones come and snatch it away snatch away the seed that was planted in their hearts so maybe at one point you know a lot of people i always hear a lot of people like oh I'm, I, I was i was raised in the church i was born in the church and stuff even though it depends because i'm not going to say all churches are bad not all churches do because some of them just kind of preach prosperity and tithing and stuff and everything so you really need you really need to um you really need to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm reading the message off the, but like when you go on talking about that you were in the church, you were of the church and stuff, that's when you're, it depends if you're following religion. That's where people get lost. That's where people get stuck in a, that's where people get stuck thinking that they're supposed to follow religion and religion has been, religion has been shaken stirred and that is not what Yahushua wanted from us or for us. He says, if you love me, you will follow my commands. If you love him, if you have love in your heart for your fellow, for Yahushua HaMashiach, you have love in your heart for yourself, you have love for your neighbor. So that's when it falls down to us walking walking in the Torah. When we walk in the Torah, which is a correction, the Torah is a correction of your lifestyle, a correction in knowing like that's how you live righteous. And when you live righteous, you love everyone. You have the love of the Mashiach in you. So this was just a quick, quick you know our daily bread just giving you that little that little just a couple couple of scriptures dealing with when it comes to these these uh, new new spiritual awakening people and the the uh, the other stuff test the spirit with the spirit and that as we most of us um, in my my church home Test the Ruhak to the Ruhak, because the Ruhak, the Ruhak Adash will give it all. If you are walking, you have discernment, you will be able to tell from their fruit. You will be able to tell from their conversation. The spirit that a Ruhak tells on them, that really tells on them. When their conversation, it, it, it'll come through, through the way that they talk, what they talk about, how they talk, how they love their fellow brother and sister, the way, even if it, even if it did not spirit with them right, they know not to attack. They know not to be aggressive. They know not to walk out of, walk without the Ruach HaKadosh. So we know, we pray for the lost. We definitely, definitely, we do not cast our pearls onto swine. If they do not take in the seed that you sowed or someone else has sowed a seed and it might've been uprooted. It might've been snatched up from the evil ones. All we do is, we give it to we give it to the Most High Yah. We give it to Elohim. We pray for them and ask that Elohim turns their heart of stone into flesh. But that right there, just wanted to give you our quick daily bread. I want you to use it, apply it, apply it, and I want you to be blessed. Shalom. One thing I desire, one thing that I long.